The media space has been awash with these alleged acts of intimidation by security operatives and persons reported to be members of the national security. The videos were presented by the NDC as evidence of what it calls a calculated attempt by the Akufuado government to disenfranchise residents in settler communities. The party alleges these acts of intimidation took place in Ketu South in the Volta region, Bena in the Mkwanta South constituency of the Oti region, and settler communities in the Eastern, Central, Ahafo and Ashanti regions, as well as Banda in the Bono region. The National Communication Officer of the NDC warned there will be negative effects if such actions are not checked. Very worrying developments currently playing out in the ongoing voter registration exercise, which threatens to throw our nation into a full-blown ethnic unrest, if not checked. The NDC is deeply worried and totally aghast at what appears to be a deliberate agenda of tribal discrimination hatched by President Kufuado and the new patriotic party to frustrate and disenfranchise Ghanaians of certain tribes from acquiring voter ID cards that will qualify them to exercise their democratic right to choose a president and members of parliament on 7th December 2020. The NDC, which unreservedly condemned what it calls the misuse of security personnel in their ongoing voter registration, demanded their immediate withdrawal. No military officer has the right or power to prevent any person who turns up at voter registration centers for reg from registering. Therefore, the deployment of military officers and immigration officers and other officers of our security agencies to harass and prevent people from registering in the ongoing voter registration exercise, as we are witnessing across the country, is unlawful and unacceptable and must cease immediately. The party urged its supporters not to be intimidated but be resolute by going out in their numbers to register. We wish to encourage all such Ghanaians and all the teeming supporters of the NDC not to give up and not to give in, but to persist and with boldness defy the intimidation antics of the despotic, tribalistic, and tyrannical MPP Akufuado government. Because we have an opportunity on 7 December to vote out Akufuado and stop the ongoing tyranny and tribal bigotry. To refuse to register to vote is to allow the evil, this evil, to triumph. The John and Jane Ticket is our only hope for a united and peaceful Ghana where the rise of all will be respected irrespective of their ethnicity or tribe. In finding solution to this recurring events, the party assured that a second coming of John Mahama will see digitized reforms at the Electoral Commission. We will work with our assembly members to build a strong birth and death system for this country. And that is why he said, President Mahama said, that we'll be reducing the size of government and we'll be channeling the savings, those savings into the payment of assembly members so that they can be motivated to collect data on births and deaths in their electoral areas for that system.